So here's the problem. You hired somebody who had enormous amounts of potential. You were so excited to hire them. I know, I've been there, done it myself. And you suddenly can't work out why they're flailing. Why is this person not stepping into this amazing potential that they have? Is the problem with them? Is the problem with you? Are you not facilitating their potential? Here's the trap. Potential is not fact. It's a vision. It's a possibility that you see. But there's a great deal of difference between willing and able. Now, let me just define that for you, because some people say they're willing, they seem to be willing, but they're not able. They lack what it would take to do the action. Other people are able, but they're not willing. They have all this massive amount of potential, but they're not willing to step into that potential. Willing and able go side by side, and if they don't come together, you are going to pay the price. So what do you do? Number one is that as you're dealing with this person, you've got to find out whether that potential is their potential or it's what you're seeing in them. Let me explain. Your person may have enormous amounts of potential, but unless you evoke, unless you elicit within them what it is that actually drives them, they will never step into any form of potential. You see, potential depends upon these dreams. But meaning and purpose is what drives a human being. Finding out what their meaning and their purpose is can transform everything. Because remember, it costs you 1.5 times the annual salary of an individual to replace them. And if you are hiring on potential, you are dead in the water. Get to know the difference between willing and able. Potential is a trap. Don't get caught in it. Stay curious, my friends. Stay curious about how you have sold yourself on potential, maybe even your own. And the cost has been way too high. Stay curious, my friends. Stay curious.